the sense that I get is that capital A is in expansion mode. Is that an accurate description? Is it full steam ahead, given yes. the reopening, or given the global economic challenges, is there an element of caution yeah, here? No, I think that the, the three ways of looking at it. We're a value group. Whatever we're doing, whether it's big pay, our right hailing uh, in AirAsia Super app, we're substantially lower cost and lower price than the existing ride hailing apps and hence we've been scaling up. When an economy tightens, which it's bound to uh, from all, all, the, all the factors we're, we, you know, we're looking at, people like us benefit. I've been through many slowdowns in economy and people will go down to the best value operator. So we feel we see demand very strong. We don't have enough planes, as I just mentioned. Uh, we're seeing demand across all our products very strong. A big pay, our remittance is, is going through the roof because we, we're a value provider. So, and then even in logistics, uh, it's a wonderful time for us to grow. For the first time in our history, we've taken uh, three cargo planes. Uh, one of the benefits of COVID, you know, I am ever the positive. And, uh, you know, during COVID, it was, you, know, I mean, you can't imagine what it was like for us, but we were able to restructure and one of the benefits was we saw a huge opportunity in logistics with the boom in e-commerce. And, uh, and so while we were a 99% passenger airline, you're now going to see a very strong uh, logistics carrier in teleport. And what we did in passengers, we believe we can do in logistics. So uh, airlines were generally going to hubs, and then you catch a smaller plane to go somewhere else. We went point to point. 60% of our routes were new. Logistics is the same. It still takes, you know, a long time to ship products even from KL to Singapore. AirAsia, we do it in a day now. Um, and so we will do point-to-point -point logistics, change the whole model, and we see a huge opportunity for us. So very much growth, and we're not worried about the economic situation because we think we'll take market share, and plus we'll create new markets with the simplicity of our products. Yeah. and the point to point. And Tony, you know, this whole logistics and cargo thing, this is something that uh, you actually initiated when you were uh, uh, hands-on at X, uh, right? You started a cargo division, and right now it, it, it's gone up to, it makes up about, what, a fifth of uh, the airline's revenue Correct, now. correct. And I, I see huge upside yeah. uh, from that, especially e-commerce. Of course, uh, it's, you know, it's glory days are probably going to top, top off it, but it's here forever, and that's changing the whole logistics supply chain. And Integrated markets, you know, you'll see Indonesian e-commerce players start selling around ASEAN, uh, Malaysian e-commerce players, etc. And social e-commerce is huge. And by having making it simple, we will allow many more people to start me, exporting their products. How are you managing the costs across all these diverse yeah. businesses? So very, I mean, that's our expertise, cost, right? That's all I know. And, and so our advantage is being lower cost and higher efficiency. So we've created separate units, and, and that's why there was this, you know, people thought, oh, why is he stepping down? But actually, I'm at the top level making sure we put new management, very clear divisions of uh, accountability, but the single most important thing is cost. 